Right, it's still sports this morning, and we have with us here a legend of athletics, a legend of sports in Nigeria. Talking about no other, uh, Chief Superintendent of Police, Chioma Ajoa. It's good to have you on sports this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, my brother, and good morning to Nigeria. And without wasting much time, let's get straight into the deal. The IWF World Championship just ended last week on Sunday, and we had athletes that didn't make it till a day before the event were to start. We had athletes that didn't even go at all. We had athletes complaining that this was not in place, that was not in place. Did you think that that was responsible for why Nigeria went there and we didn't perform at, we didn't perform at all and we performed poorly? Well, you know, when one is going to a big competition like that, World Championship, actually, World Championship is not um, all the world star that usually attend it. But then it's a global competition. And I think for us, it should have been a kind of a, a stepping stone for our preparation for the Olympics. And um, not preparing so well, you know, not putting our house in order. Um, personally, to me, I was not surprised that our athletes will not do well because there will, before that time there was a kind of crisis where and there, you know, this election stuff, you know, a lot of distraction. They never prepared, you know, even when they called them to camp, somehow they disbanded them because there was no money, because there was no, you know, a lot of things we are wrong and there's no way in such a situation you should have been expecting something spectacular except those that did not know what global competition is all about so i think that it wasn't a, a big surprise and um, even as at then i believe that um, people like okagbari and few others that were coming from state would have would have done better than what they did but then you know you can't give what you didn't have you know there's something we we normally see in sports when there's a problem in your federation when there is a problem in your house definitely the mind has been distorted and when you get to such competition you see that you cannot get 100 percent concentration to perform in a very high you know tempo so i believe that could be one of the things that made none of our athletes get to me that table um, now, I'm going to be asking a very, very touchy question, understanding that um, maybe someone you even know, talking about Coach John Obeya, who is now with the Bahrain uh, right, Athletics Federation as one of their head coaches in sprint and long jump. He has actually coached several Nigerians who have actually defected to Bahrain and even won medals in this place. The level of neglect, and most of them, what he complained about, and what those athletes complained about was that the level of neglect they suffered in Nigeria was becoming too much, and they had to go and make a living for themselves. Can you explain to us, since you've been there before, you've won a gold medal for Nigeria, what, when people talk about this neglect, can you substantiate it for us? What are they really talking about? Well, um, my dear brother, is is a very big problem here. Nigeria. You will only run for Nigeria when you have patriotic spirit in you. If you don't have it, you can represent this country. You can imagine when somebody that was qualified to go for a competition, get into competition venue, you were set, ready to go, then they remove you. You can imagine how that athlete will feel. Can you imagine an athlete running for his country? Probably he has gotten to semi-finals. Along the line, he started having pains. And he get to clinic, and the doctor said, oh, this leg is bad. Don't use it, otherwise you will not run again. And you, the sorry and the pain your country could give to you is to say, maybe you're drunk. Can you imagine that? And nobody think about how can we do to this boy so that we will go and take care of the leg so that he will be able to you know run for us in the future then that athlete now said oh 
So this is what I can get from you guys, okay? Then they didn't even help that athlete to do the surgery that was required. Then it happens to be another country, Portugal. I'm talking in a person of Francis Obiquen. That was how Francis defeated to Portugal. So many things likewise. These athletes that are now running in Bahrain, they never, they never use them here. Never. Go and make inquiry. They don't even believe that they can do it. You know? So, I'm not surprised. Even Coach Obea, I think him too can attest to that. That here, the coaches play their politics, officials play their politics from the ministry, play their politics. They want their own person to be there. You know, all those, I think that's... Well, you don't blame them. An athlete must survive. If you are not good at home, and somebody somewhere said you are good, you got to take it, you know, to earn your living. The other girl that is in Hordos, here in Nigeria, most of the times, she doesn't make it here. And immediately she left here, she became a worster. Now Nigeria wanted her back. She said, no, you can't pay me what Barin is paying me. So through that girl, the other athlete, somebody like Isa, when, she wa when he was here, he was running 46, 47. Because of environment, food, good food, you know, um, motivation, they were not getting it here. The moment they left, all those things were given to them. And they started running well, improving in their time, becoming world champions. So how do you think about that? You don't blame them because they need to survive. They need to take care of their bills. They need to take care of their family. That's why I'm telling you that you can only continue running for Nigeria when that patriotic spirit is built in you. So because when you look at the way things are going on, I mean, you, 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 just, you, you just lost it, you know. So to me personally, as an ex-international, you know, the mistakes I made, I said, I don't want to join another country. I don't want to uh, wear another country's uh, color. I want Nigeria. That's why I'm like this today. So I cannot say these athletes, if they see where to make a better life, they should not go. Because at the end of the day, they're not going to eat Nigeria. So, um, so, because someone like you now, um, let me ask this. Um, have you ever almost regretted representing Nigeria as against going somewhere else? Because you even almost quoted saying that you almost, you almost said that you sometimes you, re you, you regret representing Nigeria. Is that the case for you? You see, the issue is that I have that patriotic spirit. While I was running, Portugal came to me with Francis. I didn't go. I sent another person, if you are interested, you go. And the lady went. UK came to me. Even when I had when I was in the hospital, nobody to take care of me. They came. Now that your country cannot take care of you, can't you allow us to take care of you so that you'll be running for us? I never did that. When I was... In, do you regret making that decision? Right. Well, well, you know, I, I said here that I don't want to re tell you that I regretted it because I have my job. I would have regretted it if I don't have a job, maybe today I'm begging people for food, you know. But because I have my job, Nigerian police stood by my side. So that is why I'm not regretting it.